Welcome everyone to lesson number five in the 10 frame edition series. I'm Miss Judy and in today's class we're going to take a look at calculating 6 plus 7. We're going to learn how to make 10 to make the number easier to add. So like the previous lessons, the top 10 frame represents the number 6. The bottom 10 frame represents the number 7. Also, we're going to use counters. So I'm using red counters to represent the number 6 and purple counters to represent the number 7. Now let's get started. So we're going to move the counters onto the 10 frame. So we'll start with the number 6. So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So that represents the number 6. And now let's take the purple counters and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Okay, so we have the 6 and then we have the 7 represented on the 10 frames. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make 10. So let's get started. Okay, so when you're trying to make 10, what you're trying to do is you want to look for the number that's closest to the number 10. So if we look at the number 6, we have 1, 2, 3, we have 4 spaces that we would have to fill out in order to get to the number 10. But when you look at the number 7, for the number 7, if we're trying to make 10, we only have to look to make 1, 2, and 3. We have 3 spaces that we need to add to make the number 10. So we're going to take counters from the number 6 and move them down to the number 7 because the number 7 is closest to the number 10. So let's move 3 counters from the number 6 down to the number 7. So we're going to go, let's go here. So here's 1, here's 2, and here's three. So we move down the three counters from the number six down to the number seven and now we were able to make ten. So this is the bottom part of our equation. Now how many are left up on top after we took away the three counters? Well now we have three counters remaining up on top. So our equation now is ten is three plus 10. Well, 3 plus 10, that's equal to 13. 6 plus 7 is equal to 13. We started with the number 6 and the number 7. We made 10 and that left us with 3. 10 plus 3 gave us the number 13. Now let's review this again. Okay, so let's review what we just learned um, in the previous session. So we started with the equation 6 plus 7. And we were trying to find the answer to 6 plus 7. And we're going to use 10 frames to make 10 to make it a little bit easier to figure out the problem. So we had two 10 frames. The first one um, represented the number 6. And then the one on the bottom, the second 10 frame, represented the number 7. When you're trying to make 10, what you want to do is you want to find the number that's closest to the number 10. With the number 6, we would have had to fill 4 counters in order to get to the number 10. However, with the number 7, we only have 3 counters that we have to fill. So we're going to take the red counters from the number 6 and move them down to the number 7 in order to make 10. So I'm going to take this one and put it here. And then I'm going to take this one and put it here. And then this one and put it here. So I'm going to cross these out because they're now they're no longer up on the top 10 frame. Because I've moved them down to the bottom 10 frame. Now we have 10. And it's 10 plus what's left over. Well, we move, we started with 6 and we moved 3 down to 7 in order to get it to number 10. 
So now we just have three remaining. So now the, we have three left. So it's 10 plus three. 10 plus three is 13, which means seven plus six is equal to 13. We started with six and we had a seven. We wanted to make 10, which we did. And then we had three left over. 10 plus three equals 13, which means that six plus seven equals 13, because that's what we used to make 10. Now, as I mentioned in my other lessons in the 10 frame series, because of the commutative properties of addition, if six plus seven equals 13, that also means that seven plus six equals 13. Also down here, if 10 plus three equals 13, because of the commutative properties of addition, which again means we can switch these two numbers that are adding against each other and still get the same answer. So we started with 10 plus three, so we can make this three plus 10 equals 13. So look at that, we came up with four different ways to get the number 13, starting with one equation, six plus seven. So let's go over that again. We started with six plus seven to, and we needed to find the answer to six plus seven. Well, we wanted to make 10. When we make 10, we get 10 plus three. 10 plus three equals 13, which means six plus seven is equal to 13. Now, because of the commutative properties of addition, if six plus seven equals 13, that means seven plus six also equals 13. And down here, because of the commutative properties of addition, 10 plus three equals 13. That means three plus 10 also equals 13. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to ask any questions down in the comment section. If you liked the video, please click the like button. And also if you want, please hit the subscribe button and then you'll be notified when my next group of exercises come out for the next topic that I have. And again, thank you very much for watching.